Hi, my name is Carlos Spiranelli Ramos. I am an endodontist and uh, I am the R&D endodontic segment manager here in Ultradent. Uh, what I want to show you today is the new Genius system that is a motor that you can do rotation and reciprocation at the same time and files, the Genius files. Those files are rotary and reciprocation files, so you can do both movements with the same file. The Genius motor is an electric motor. It's a, actually a micro-stepper motor that enables you to use in reciprocation and rotation. The other features about this motor is the same of the other rotary motors. It means that you can work with the ratio of the contra-angle, we can set the RPMs as well, and you can set the torque that you want to use. Plus, you have an uh, auto-reverse mode that enables you to work with three different modes. It means a stop, auto-reverse, or a special auto-reverse that is a kind of feature that when you press special auto-reverse, the file, when reaches the torque, the file will stop, start some reciprocation until the point that you release the file and then goes in rotation as well. So the Genius files are designed to be used in reciprocation and rotation. The reason that we can use in both movements, and this is very unique on these files, is the fact that we have a cross-action called the S cross-action. It means that you have two cutting blades and these two cutting blades has a positive cutting angle. It means that in a positive cutting angle, you can cut in reciprocation and you can cut in rotation as well. We have a sequence of files that we recommend to be used with the Genius motor. These files in reciprocation will work in 90-30. It means that 90 degrees clockwise cutting, 30 degrees counterclockwise releasing. This is very important because we can avoid all the stress being built in the file during the procedure. Plus, we just need two files to do all the procedure. After pre-flaring with the artifice shaper, we will use the 2504 file, the red one, first until the working length, open the space in reciprocation. It means that in this way, you increase the safety of the procedure. After that, you choose one of the final files based on the diameter of the file and the anatomy of the canal. Let's say that you are doing a mesial root of a low molar, a mesial buccal canal, for example. Then we can choose the 3504. Let's say that you are doing a premolar, then you can use a 40. Or even larger canals, you can use a 50. So the last file will depends on the anatomy that you have, on the morphology and the directions of the canal. Plus, you are going to use in reciprocation again until the working length. And then you press the mode button on the Genius motor and in rotation, just to remove debris, you can finish your uh, instrumentation. Now I want to show you the sequence of the Genius files in an uh, acrylic block. This is a genius acrylic block. It's made with an image of a molar inside, and this image is from a micro CT from a real molar that was reconstructed by a 3D printer. So the artifice shaper is a 3008 file, and we use in rotation. So first we have to turn on the motor and be sure that is in rotation P1. Uh, the artifice shaper is a S cross-section as well. It means that cuts a lot, this file. So you have to put inside the canal until the curvature and uh, working in rotation towards the mesial uh, wall if you are doing, like in the video, if you are doing the mesial canals or towards the distal wall if you are using in the distal canal. The goal is to remove the denting triangle and to open the space in the cervical and middle third for the other files that will come. Usually we do a scouting with a number 10 or 15 file, first of all, just to be sure that we are uh, 
uh, inside the canals, and then we use the orifice shaper in rotation. Uh, just remember to fill the canal with a lot of irrigant. I prefer to use the chloroseed B, that is a sodium hypochloride in a viscose uh, presentation. After using, you uh, do the irrigation with a navy tip. I recommend the 31 gauge double side port and removing, remove all the debris from inside the canal. After determining the working length and creating a glide path, the first file that we will use is the 2504, the red one. Go to the Genius Motor, press the mode button, going from rotation to reciprocation. We will use the 930 uh, reciprocation. It means that in 90 you cut, 30 degrees you release the stress of the file. So the 2504 Genius file is a S cross-section file. It means that cuts a lot. So you just put the file inside the canal, feel some resistance, go back a little bit, 0 0.5 to 1 millimeter, and then start with brushing mo movements towards the denting walls and doing the uh, instrumentation. It's very important between the use of uh, the three strokes of the file to use sodium hypochlorite liquid to uh, clean uh, the breeze and remove the breeze from inside the canal. We truly recommend the Navity 31 gauge double, double side port with chloroseed liquid. Uh, it's very important as well to have irrigant inside the canal to act as a lubrication and uh, to uh, disperse all the breeze inside the canal as well. So without apical pressure, you just put inside the canal the 2504, doing three strokes, brushing movement, and after three or four uh, groups of strokes, you will be able to um, reach the working length. Don't do apical pressure, it's just a put the file inside the canal, feel some resistance, and then pull back a little bit, and then it start to work uh, against the denting walls in brushing movement. After using the 2504 in reciprocation, you have to do a lot of irrigation to remove as much debris as possible. And then you decide, based on anatomy, what will be the final file. In this particular example here, we will use the 3504 because it's a curved canal, but it's not a narrow and curved canal. If you have a narrow and curved canal, you can go with a 30. In this case, it's just a curved canal, so it will be a 35. So again, in reciprocation, you go until the working length safely, and then using the 9030 movement, and then you just switch from reciprocation to rotation to remove the debris. So this is the 3504 file that we go in reciprocation. You can see that after the 2504, the 3504 will be a little bit more free to go until the very end or the very apical third that will be easier than that using the 2504. So the 3504, we will open the space enough and enlarge enough to be able to do all the cleaning with your irrigants. Just remember, it's just three strokes in reciprocation, no apical pressure, a lot of irrigation between those, these strokes. So you can go with your file easily until the working length in reciprocation. What you are seeing in the video is exactly the file going to the working length open space properly to be able to remove all this debris with your irrigation. After using the 3504 in reciprocation, when you get the point that you are in the working length, then you go to your genius motor, press the mode button from reciprocation to rotation, insert the file inside the canal in rotation, and then you'll be able to remove all the debris from inside the canal. It's very important to point out the fact that in rotation you can remove more debris than using just 
reciprocation. That's exactly the reason that we are finishing the, jo the job with uh, rotation. So as you can see, it's easy to do all the instrumentation with two files after pre-flaring and in a very safe way doing reciprocation first and efficiently removing debris in rotation. And the big thing, the beauty of this system is the fact that you don't need to go from a reciprocation file to a rotary file. You can use the very same file to do everything. The Genius Endodontic System by Ultraland is designed to give you the benefits of reciprocation and rotation. We are very excited to introduce this to you and we know that this system will benefit you and your patients. Thank you very much.